The modern Olympic Games or Olympics are the leading international sporting event featuring summer and winter sports competitions in which thousands of athletes from around the world participate in a variety of competitions. The Olympic Games are considered to be the world's foremost sports competition with more than 200 nations participating. The Olympic Games are held every four years, with the Summer and Winter Games alternating by occurring every four years but two years apart. Their creation was inspired by the ancient Olympic Games, which were held in Olympia, Greece, from the 8th century BC to the 4th century AD. Baron Pierre de Coubertin founded the International Olympic Committee in 1894. The IOC is the governing body of the Olympic movement, with the Olympic Charter defining its structure and authority. The evolution of the Olympic movement during the 20th and 21st centuries has resulted in several changes to the Olympic Games. Some of these adjustments include the creation of the Winter Olympic Games for ice and winter sports the Paralympic Games for athletes with a disability, and the Youth Olympic Games for teenage athletes. The IOC has had to adapt to a variety of economic, political, and technological advancements. As a result, the Olympics has shifted away from pure amateurism, as envisioned by Kubatan, to allowing participation of professional athletes. The growing importance of mass media created the issue of corporate sponsorship and commercialization of the Games. World Wars led to the cancellation of the 1916, 1940, and 1944 Games. Large boycotts during the Cold War limited participation in the 1980 and 1984 Games. The Olympic movement consists of international sports federations, national Olympic committees, and organizing committees for each specific Olympic Games. As the decision-making body, the IOC is responsible for choosing the host city for each Games, and organizes and funds the Games according to the Olympic Charter. The IOC also determines the Olympic program, consisting of the sports to be contested at the Games. There are several Olympic rituals and symbols, such as the Olympic flag and torch, as well as the opening and closing ceremonies. Over 13,000 athletes compete at the Summer and Winter Olympic Games in 33 different sports and nearly 400 events. The first, second, and third place finishes in each event receive Olympic medals gold, silver, and bronze, respectively. The Games have grown so much that nearly every nation is now represented. This growth has created numerous challenges and controversies, including boycotts, doping, bribery, and a terrorist attack in 1972. Every two years the Olympics and its media exposure provide unknown athletes with the chance to attain national and sometimes international fame. The Games also constitute an opportunity for the host city and country to showcase themselves to the world. Ancient Olympics the ancient Olympic Games were religious and athletic festivals held every four years at the Sanctuary of Zeus in Olympia, Greece. Competition was among representatives of several city-states and kingdoms of ancient Greece. These games featured mainly athletic but also combat sports such as wrestling and the Pancration, horse and chariot racing events. It has been widely written that during the Games, all conflicts among the participating city-states were postponed until the Games were finished. This cessation of hostilities was known as the Olympic Peace or Truce. This idea is a modern myth because the Greeks never suspended their wars. The truce did allow those religious pilgrims who were traveling to Olympia to pass through warring territories unmolested because they were protected by Zeus. The origin of the Olympics is shrouded in mystery and legend. One of the most popular myths identifies Heracles and his father Zeus as the progenitors of the Games. According to legend, it was Heracles who first called the Games Olympic and established the custom of holding them every four years. The myth continues that after Heracles completed his twelve labors, he built the Olympic Stadium as an honor to Zeus. Following its completion, he walked in a straight line for 200 steps and called this distance a stadion, which later became a unit of distance. 
The most widely accepted inception date for the ancient Olympics is 776 BC. This is based on inscriptions found at Olympia, listing the winners of a foot race held every four years starting in 776 BC. The ancient games featured running events, a pentathlon, boxing, wrestling, pancration, and equestrian events. Tradition has it that Corobus, a cook from the city of Elis, was the first Olympic champion. The Olympics were of fundamental religious importance, featuring sporting events alongside ritual sacrifices honoring both Zeus and Pelops, divine hero and mythical king of Olympia. Pelops was famous for his chariot race with King Enomaus of Pisatus. The winners of the events were admired and immortalized in poems and statues. The Games were held every four years, and this period, known as an Olympiad, was used by Greeks as one of their units of time measurement. The Games were part of a cycle known as the Panhellenic Games, which included the Pythian Games, the Nemean Games, and the Ismian Games. The Olympic Games reached their zenith in the 6th and 5th centuries BC, but then gradually declined in importance as the Romans gained power and influence in Greece. While there is no scholarly consensus as to when the Games officially ended, the most commonly held date is 393 AD, when the Emperor Theodosius I decreed that all pagan cults and practices be eliminated. Another date commonly cited is 426 AD, when his successor, Theodosius II, ordered the destruction of all Greek temples. Modern Games Forerunners various uses of the term Olympic to describe athletic events in the modern era have been documented since the 17th century. It was first organized by the lawyer Robert Dover between 1612 and 1642, with several later celebrations leading up to the present day. The British Olympic Association, in its bid for the 2012 Olympic Games in London, mentioned these games as the first stirrings of Britain's Olympic beginnings. L'Olympiade de la République, a national Olympic festival held annually from 1796 to 1798 in revolutionary France also attempted to emulate the ancient Olympic Games. The competition included several disciplines from the ancient Greek Olympics. The 1796 Games also marked the introduction of the metric system into sport. In 1850 an Olympian class was started by Dr. William Penny Brooks at Much Wenlock, in Shropshire, England. In 1859, Dr. Brooks changed the name to the Wenlock Olympian Games. This annual sports festival continues to this day. The Wenlock Olympian Society was founded by Dr. Brooks on 15 November 1860. Between 1862 and 1867, Liverpool held an annual Grand Olympic Festival. Devised by John Hurley and Charles Melly, these games were the first to be wholly amateur in nature and international in outlook, although only gentlemen amateurs could compete. The program of the first modern Olympiad in Athens in 1896 was almost identical to that of the Liverpool Olympics. In 1865 Hurley, Dr. Brooks and E.G. Ravenstein founded the National Olympian Association in Liverpool, a forerunner of the British Olympic Association. Its Articles of Foundation provided the framework for the International Olympic Charter. In 1866, a National Olympic Games in Great Britain was organised at London's Crystal Palace. Revival Greek interest in reviving the Olympic Games began with the Greek War of Independence from the Ottoman Empire in 1821. It was first proposed by poet and newspaper editor Panagiotis Tsautsos in his poem Dialogue of the Dead, published in 1833. Evangelos Zappas, a wealthy Greek-Romanian philanthropist, first wrote to King Otto of Greece in 1856 offering to fund a permanent revival of the Olympic Games. Zappas sponsored the first Olympic Games in 1859, which was held in an Athens city square. Athletes participated from Greece and the Ottoman Empire. Zappas funded the restoration of the ancient Panathenaic Stadium so that it could host all future Olympic Games. 
The stadium hosted Olympics in 1870 and 1875. 30,000 spectators attended that Games in 1870, though no official attendance records are available for the 1875 Games. In 1890, after attending the Olympian Games of the Wenlock Olympian Society, Baron Pierre de Coubertin was inspired to found the International Olympic Committee. Coubertin built on the ideas and work of Brooks and Zappers with the aim of establishing internationally rotating Olympic Games that would occur every four years. He presented these ideas during the first Olympic Congress of the newly created International Olympic Committee. This meeting was held from 16 to 23 June 1894 at the University of Paris. On the last day of the Congress, it was decided that the first Olympic Games to come under the auspices of the IOC would take place in Athens in 1896. The IOC elected the Greek writer Demetrius Vikelis as its first president. 1896 Games The first Games held under the auspices of the IOC was hosted in the Panathinaik Stadium in Athens in 1896. The Games brought together to 14 nations and 241 athletes who competed in 43 events. Zappas and his cousin Konstantinos Zappas had left the Greek government to trust to fund future Olympic Games. This trust was used to help finance the 1896 Games. George Averoff contributed generously for the refurbishment of the stadium in preparation for the Games. The Greek government also provided funding, which was expected to be recouped through the sale of tickets and from the sale of the first Olympic commemorative stamp set. Greek officials and the public were enthusiastic about the experience of hosting an Olympic Games. This feeling was shared by many of the athletes, who even demanded that Athens be the permanent Olympic host city. The IOC intended for subsequent Games to be rotated to various host cities around the world. The second Olympics was held in Paris. Changes and adaptations After the success of the 1896 Games, the Olympics entered a period of stagnation that threatened their survival. The Olympic Games held at the Paris Exposition in 1900 and the World's Fair at St. Louis in 1904 were sideshows. The Games at Paris did not have a stadium, but was notable for being the first time women took part in the Games. When the St. Louis Games were celebrated roughly 650 athletes participated, but 580 were from the United States. The homogeneous nature of these celebrations was a low point for the Olympic movement. The Games rebounded when the 1906 intercalated Games were held in Athens. These games were, but are not now, officially recognized by the IOC and no intercalated games have been held since. The games attracted a broad international field of participants and generated great public interest. This marked the beginning of a rise in both the popularity and the size of the Olympics. Winter Games The Winter Olympics was created to feature snow and ice sports that were logistically impossible to hold during the Summer Games. Figure skating and ice hockey were featured as Olympic events at the Summer Olympics. The IOC desired to expand this list of sports to encompass other winter activities. At the 1921 Olympic Congress in Lausanne, it was decided to hold a winter version of the Olympic Games. A winter sports week was held in 1924 in Chamonix, France. In connection with the Paris Games held three months later, this event became the first Winter Olympic Games. Although it was intended that the same country host both the Winter and Summer Games in a given year, this idea was quickly abandoned. The IOC mandated that the Winter Games be celebrated every four years on the same year as their summer counterpart. This tradition was upheld until the 1992 Games in Albertville, France, after that beginning with the 1994 Games. The Winter Olympics were held every four years, two years after each Summer Olympics. 
Paralympics in 1948, Sir Ludwig Gutmann, determined to promote the rehabilitation of soldiers after World War II, organized a multi-sport event between several hospitals to coincide with the 1948 London Olympics. Gutmann's event, known then as the Stoke Mandeville Games, became an annual sports festival. Over the next 12 years, Gutmann and others continued their efforts to use sports as an avenue to healing. For the 1960 Olympic Games, in Rome, Gutmann brought 400 athletes to compete in the Parallel Olympics, which became known as the First Paralympics. Since then, the Paralympics have been held in every Olympic year. Since the 1988 Summer Olympics in Seoul, South Korea, the host city for the Olympics has also played host to the Paralympics. In 2001 the International Olympic Committee and the International Paralympic Committee signed an agreement guaranteeing that host cities would be contracted to manage both the Olympic and Paralympic Games. The agreement came into effect at the 2008 Summer Games in Beijing, and the 2010 Winter Games in Vancouver. Chairman of the London Organising Committee, Lord Coe, said about the 2012 Summer Paralympics and Olympics in London that, We want to change public attitudes towards disability, celebrate the excellence of Paralympic sport and to enshrine from the very outset that the two games are an integrated whole. The Youth Olympic Games were conceived by IOC President Jack Rogger in 2001 and approved during the 119th Congress of the IOC. The first Summer Youth Games were held in Singapore from 14 to 26 August 2010, while the inaugural Winter Games were hosted in Innsbruck, Austria. Two years later, these games will be shorter than the senior games, the summer version will last 12 days, while the winter version will last 9 days. The IOC allows 3,500 athletes and 875 officials to participate at the summer youth games, and 970 athletes and 580 officials at the winter youth games. The sports to be contested will coincide with those scheduled for the senior games. However there will be variations on the sports including mixed NOC and mixed gender teams as well as a reduced number of disciplines and events. 21st century games from 241 participants representing 14 nations in 1896. The Games have grown to about 10,500 competitors from 204 nations at the 2012 Summer Olympics. The scope and scale of the Winter Olympics is smaller. For example, Vancouver hosted 2,566 athletes from 82 nations competing in 86 events during the 2010 Winter Olympics. During the Games most athletes and officials are housed in the Olympic Village. This village is intended to be a self-contained home for all the Olympic participants and is furnished with cafeterias, health clinics, and locations for religious expression. The IOC allowed the formation of national Olympic committees representing nations that did not meet the strict requirements for political sovereignty that other international organizations demand. As a result, colonies and dependencies are permitted to compete at Olympic Games. Examples of this include territories such as Puerto Rico, Bermuda, and Hong Kong, all of which compete as separate nations despite being legally a part of another country. The current version of the Charter allows for the establishment of new National Olympic Committees to represent nation which qualify as an independent state recognized by the international community. Therefore, it did not allow the formation of National Olympic Committees for St. Martin and Curaçao when they gained the same constitutional status as Aruba. In 2010, although the IOC had recognized the Aruban Olympic Committee in 1986, after 2012, Netherlands Antilles athletes can choose to represent either the Netherlands or Aruba. Economic and social impact on host cities and countries Many economists are skeptical about the economic benefits of hosting the Olympic Games, emphasizing that such mega-events often have large costs while yielding relatively few tangible benefits in the long run. 
Conversely hosting the Olympics appears to increase the host country's exports, as the host or candidate country sends a signal about trade openness when bidding to host the Games. Moreover, research suggests that hosting the Summer Olympics has a strong positive effect on the philanthropic contributions of corporations headquartered in the host city, which seems to benefit the local non-profit sector. This positive effect begins in the years leading up to the Games and might persist for several years afterwards, although not permanently. This finding suggests that hosting the Olympics might create opportunities for cities to influence local corporations in ways that benefit the local, non-profit sector and civil society. The Games have also had significant negative effects on host communities. For example, the Center on Housing Rights and Evictions reports that the Olympics displaced more than 2 million people over two decades, often disproportionately affecting disadvantaged groups. The 2014 Winter Olympics in Sochi were the most expensive Olympic Games in history, costing in excess of $50 billion. According to a report by the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development that was released at the time of the Games, this cost will not boost Russia's national economy, but may attract business to Sochi and the southern Krasnodar region of Russia in the future as a result of improved services. But by December 2014, The Guardian stated that Sochi now feels like a ghost town, citing the spread out nature of the stadiums and arenas, the still unfinished construction, and the overall effects Russia's political and economic turmoil. Furthermore, at least four cities withdrew their bids for the 2022 Winter Olympics, citing the cost to host the Games.